What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Nugs B, coming to you with the homies tonight. Welcome back to Together FTR. I am joined once again by Salts, and we got my boy T. Brew in here, the massacre of disaster. You already know he rocking the ball again, baby. My man's out here, T. Brew, baby. In the building, son. Shiesty than a motherfucker. Here we are. You already know we in here. Let's do this. So. We're going to start this off as we always do, but before I get into the entertainment history, I just want to truly thank everybody who's been tuning in. Any new guests you want to see come on that might be, you know, funny or interesting or, you know, whatever it may be, hit me up, hit the page up, do what you do, let me know who you want on, and then we'll work that shit out, man. All right, so first on the entertainment history that we have for you today. Per Michael Jackson's wishes, one week before his controversial black or white music video airs, a memo circulates at MTV instructing the network's on-air personnel to refer to Jackson as the king of pop at least twice a week during the next two weeks. (laughs) So he said, you know what? I want y'all to hear me out. Y'all calling me the king of pop. I'm the baddest motherfucker. I'm the best looking motherfucker you ever seen. Bad. Hold my drink, bitch. You know what I'm bad. saying? He wasn't playing with him, bro. Come Jackson, on now. bad. He don't matter if he's black or white. He don't matter. Bad. You already know, bro. Also, whenever you speak into the mic, just try to get as close as you guys can. About a fist away. I appreciate that. That's yeah, when you pick we you up. Yeah, we up in here, bro. So they, can, you know, so they can hear you real well. We get you the audio all us. crispy. Um, but Black or White was genuinely one of my favorite songs by Michael Jackson, bro. Like uh, Dirty Diana. Black Earth or song. white, no. the Earth song, Earth song. fire. I like, that. I like beat it, bro. Beat Thriller, like, uh, bad. You know. Yeah, you're not alone. I mean, there's so many, you bro. He truly was alone. the king, man, the king right. of pop, bro. And I love pop music. You know, I love all music, but Michael Jackson, he he was the king, mm-hmm. for sure. One hundred percent. Is it is that Thriller album? It's still like Thriller one of the top selling before, of all time. Like it's probably top five, I'd say. No doubt. Pretty sure, pretty sure. Michael Jackson's definitely up there. The only, uh, it's actually funny you bring that up because um, Post Malone actually was the first person to have um, an album, an album stay longer on the Billboard charts than Thriller, bro. That's when, that's when I was like, damn, this dude really out here making moves for real. Like Post Malone, Post Malone, bro, straight up. Like uh, Beer Bones and Bentleys. Yeah. That, al- that album stayed on the top. Uh, Top 100 Billboard charts longer than Thriller, bro. But music is so different today, bro. Yeah, 100%. You know think about how, I mean, how hard like, it was to push music back when Michael Jackson was doing his thing. Facts, like, it was way yeah. different to get how to get music to people. Yeah. You know? The technology, yeah. man. Technology's changing the world. I swear, bro. It's crazy. I, did, I don't think that that's right. That shouldn't be, that shouldn't be a thing. Post Malone uh, yeah. at beating Michael Jackson. Yeah, but the thing is, the real. streaming game is what really put that that's into it. A, you know what I mean? Most like, the streaming definitely. game put that Most into definitely. a whole different, like, level, bro. For real. And plus, like I said, you know, it's so much, music is so much more accessible now than it was back then. Bro, if you wanted yeah. music back then, you got to go to the store and buy a CD. You yeah. got to think you of. You got to buy the album or the vinyl. Whatever you buy and listen to music, yeah. cassettes, you know, whatever. You got to go out there and buy that shit. You ain't just going to be able to pop on your phone. All right, I'm going to listen to literally any song I want to that's ever been made. Yeah. Yeah. You feel me? That's true. That's it. You got to think also, man, the the population, the difference. Very different. You know what I'm saying? We've like quadrupled it's, in, you know, it, it, like, it's crazy, real, man. Like, I mean, I, that, I'm, I'm there's, so many, there's so many more people to yeah. move the music around and to circulate it to. You know what I mean? Like, but if it wasn't for Michael Jackson, there would be no Post Malone. Period, bro. There would be dude, no, there wouldn't be half be of the no people. Right. I mean, and you know what's crazy about that is like whenever you have children, it's like you have to find the balance between do I need to like Joe Jackson my kid to make him the next Michael Jackson and beat the <laughs> hell out of him all the time, <laughs> like treat him like dog shit and make him sleep on the floor at their own fucking door, like their own, uh, you know, uh, mansion, or do you go with the softer approach? <laughs> you know, you go with the 
you know, the, the, the little easy, you, you know, find a good balance. Bro. You feel me? Like, find a happy which, medium. which way do you go? Do you go Joe Jackson so you get the next MJ? I mean, what do you do, bro? Nah. You go Customato, like Mike, Mike Tyson, you feel me? Which way you, do you go to make yeah. the next greatest thing? Yeah. <laughs> Type shit. All right, so on this day in 2008, 18-year-old Taylor Swift releases her second album, Fearless, which goes on to sell over 10 million copies in America. Standout tracks include Love Story and You Belong With Me. You belong, you belong with, with me. Hey, T Swizzle, man. Shout out T Swizzle. I love Taylor Swift. I'm not hey, gonna lie, man. Man, I'll have a Taylor Swift concert I'll right jam now. Out. We, you you know, we always about, be jamming out in the car with Tegan. T Swift, <laughs> yeah, bro. We, uh, I love it. Actually, at work, they're having. Uh, they they just got that new. Did you see the new Taylor Swift uh, portrait they had? I did see that. Bro, actually. I it's saw the so post dope. on it too, man. It's Shout so out the dope. mill. The, yeah, real, yeah, yeah. Shout, Shout out the mill, mill AKY. You yeah. already know, son. It. Bro, it's new. It's, you got to back there towards the bathroom, bro. Yeah, and they're having a karaoke Why night. Back yeah. Towards the bathroom, though? Because that's the only spot they have for it, bro. Okay, it's by the you stairs. Know they got plenty you know of the they, stairs, they, bro. You know, they're stacked up, yeah. bro. They got a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing shit. But uh, Taylor Swift, love you. Thank you. You know, thank you for everything. I'll tell you right now, man. She's make, awesome. make no mistake. And she wrote a lot of her own music, too. Yeah. That's why I respected her, yeah. like, for she, real. She's doing shit for real. Because she was, you know, and like bro just said, like 18 years old, bro, in 2008. 2008. Sold that's crazy. 10 million bro. copies, bro, in America. Was. That's not worldwide. Sophomore you year. Jamming out to Taylor Swift. You're on the back no. roads, on the cruise roads, man. I was man. 12, baby. You already yeah, know what time it is. He was in the back seat. <laughs> I didn't believe I in the back seat on a Jamming cruise out road. Taylor Swift. Fuck Bumping it. out some T-Swift. Yeah, I was like uh, 16 uh, years old. Yeah, I'll <laughs> say, um, I don't even know, bro. If I had to pick probably my favorite song by T-Swift, bro, it's either going to be, whew, it's tough, bro. Everything Has Changed or that one hit deep, bro. You know what I'm saying? Everything Has Changed. That's fire with Ed Sheeran. Um, there's then, so many, bro. There's so many. But then the other one might be 22. 22 is my joint, bro. bro. That's a good one. That's Listen, my man, joint, the, bro. The, uh, okay, there's one song I gotta I gotta say, man. Uh, I'll write your name. Oh. Okay, when man. I was in Taylor County, bro, I was listening to the radio yeah. and I was listening to a rock station, and they played this song by Taylor Swift, but it was a cover, and it was this screamo band, <laughs> and uh, it was. The weirdest shit ever, bro. I don't remember who it was by, but it was like, you belong with me, like screaming music. And it was Taylor Swift. And it was like very interesting, but uh, <laughs> it was very different. I, I, you know, if you can find it, it's pretty, it's pretty funny. But yeah, I, I like, uh, I like that one. I'll write your name. That's I'll, probably my favorite. My Taylor favorite? Swift. Love story. Love story. That's your favorite one? Yeah. It's a love story, <laughs> baby. Just yeah. that yeah. one is fire, that, bro. That is, yeah, that is one of the, that's definitely what's top the tier. one top um, tier for sure. I'm really not here listening to Taylor Swift like that. Too. I am. I'm gonna keep it 100, boys. I'm out for here really? bumping. T Swift in the car by myself, cuzzy. I don't give a damn uh, out here, bro. I mean, damn. out here, bro. Maybe I keep I'm just it. listening to wrong shit. I keep it all the way gutter out here. You just boy. gotta mix it up, bro. Hey, I buy a variety. I do. Yeah, but you don't mix it up enough if you ain't uh, listening to yep. T Swizzle. Yeah, you gotta bump that T Swizzle. I'm sorry. Yeah, man. we out here, bro. We Taylors for real. We Taylor squared out here. You know what I'm saying? Come on, cuz. Yeah, here we are. I but um, so the next thing I got, and I, before I go, what's that one song? Uh, damn. It's, it might be Love Story, bro. It's talking about uh, Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, that's yeah, is that it. the one? That's it. That's it. All right, all right. That's it. Okay. Okay, there you go. All right, so look. Yeah. That's top three for me, bro. That's top three oh, that's songs by her, bro. That's a hitter for real. Yeah. She's on some other shit these days, though. Yeah. 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 No, no that last album she did was fire. She, she, she just heard, let a new one out. You heard like, that song with like her in the Willow? past couple of weeks, didn't she? You heard that song with her and Willow Smith? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Heard some that. other shit. She Is just had a new tape drop, I, didn't she? Uh, I don't know the name of it. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. Remember I'll pull it up. But look it up. Taylor Swift. It's Taylor probably Swift off her new Willow album. Smith. Yeah. They, uh, I haven't listened to the new album yet. Is I'm it any good? Y'all heard it? I heard it. No, I mean, I heard Michael talking about it, bro. I heard it. They were all talking about it the day it dropped, like. Is it, uh, is it my not boss was listening to it. Yeah. Is it not? Is All it, I'm seeing is the song Willow, which came out in 2022. Yeah, no. Hold on. Oh, see. there's grandson. Hey, what hey, up, cousin? He in the house. The What's party, good, bro? baby boy? Hey, scoot hey, in. Man. Get in here. We'll scoot down a little bit. We got some room. Come on, cousin. It's called Willow. That's, that, that's the song. Willow? It's not yeah. with uh, Willow Smith, though, but that's, uh yeah. I said, y'all can share uh, that mic down there. You, you and Dustin can share that one. 
Yeah, get up in here, boy. Hold on, we got some room. We make some room. Why don't you sit on his lap? Yeah, sit on his lap. Come on, bro. Come on down, bro. We got room for you. Don't come on, sit up, man. Get in here, Dustin. Yeah, get up in there. Don't come on, man. Get, get up in there. Scoot up in there. Yeah, scoot up in there, boy. Come on, you got to get, get on the camera, get, get son. The you got course, room? Bro. Yeah, you got room. Yeah, you got room, bro. So, uh. There he is. Yeah. Th- yeah, you in there, baby. What's good? We got Russ in the building. We got D Nasty out here. My dog, for real. What's good, son? Good. We got that real shit. I'm the only one with short hair. We we the hair bears, bro. We got the the motherfucking, we got our guy outside of here. You know what I'm saying? What's he doing, bro? We got the outsiders. What is it? Oh, okay. Got you, got you, got you. You mean? Yeah, yeah, we yeah, in bro. here, bro. We get yeah, close we out here, bro. Bitch, what you bro? mean, bro? Family shit. Family shit. Yeah, I can use either mic I want. <laughs> this shit is dope as fuck. Hey, we've never done a four piece on the podcast either, <laughs> so we really <laughs> fucking out yeah, here right now. We got the squad yeah. up in here squad. for real, man. Squad I, I, game. I about the other mic. Mike, yeah, well, Mike. the thing I was telling him, I was like, man, we could hook up the fourth one, but I was like, fuck it, bro. We just ride we three. We in here, bro. We These mics are picking shit man. up. You already know, man. I got three grandsons sitting beside me. I love this you shit, man. You already know, baby. We yeah. Yeah, I got my three grandsons with me. I love it. We out here, baby. All right, so the third thing on uh, the entertainment history today is on this day in 1982, Prince begins his 1999 tour with a show in Chattanooga, Tennessee. The opening acts are two groups he put together in Minneapolis. The motherfucking time, baby. (laughs) Straight up. Let's go. And Vanity Six. So, yeah. Shout out to fucking Prince, bro. 1999. Prince oh, was. Oh, my God. Oh, what, okay, Not what time? At, at that time, what songs was he singing? Well, he was doing the 1999 tour, so it was off that album. So, it would have been like... Uh, Kiss or... Kiss was on Purple that. Rain. I'll pull them all up right now, baby boy. I think, yeah, I think all those were on 1999. I, I got some Kiss. knowledge about Prince. Hold up. So when the, Does Cry? So, the, the symbol, you know, you know where that symbol comes from? Which no, I don't. All right, there was a story about this king, and he had a son, right? And his son wanted to give up his rights to the throne. You know, he wanted to do his own thing. So he went and became an artist. And uh, the house sigil, if you will, was that sign. So he became the artist formerly known as Prince. That's fire, bro. That's fire as fuck. That's where it came from, bro. The artist formerly known as Prince. Yeah, shout out uh, Dr. Saltz. He put me up on that shit. Yeah, let's go, Love baby. You. Love you, Dad. <laughs> <clears throat> all right, so here we go for the original album track listing. There was four sides to the album, first of all, which that just makes it super fucking dope, I feel like. You know what I mean? This motherfucker had four sides to his album. He wasn't playing with you. Double disc, motherfucker, or double vinyl. Yeah, that was an 84, bro, so hold up. Yeah, let me see. That's when they went on tour, so yeah, it had to have been 84. So we got 1999. Which is a banger, bro. Little Red Corvette. <laughs> fucking <laughs> banger. Yes. Sure. Delirious, which was another banger. And then we got the rest of them aren't really very well known, but like, let's pretend we're married. DMSR, Automatic, Something in the Water, Does Not Compute. That's actually Prince, a really good one. Yeah, oh, wait, Free. Wait, wait, wait. You, have you ever heard Darling Nikki? Mm, no. Heard Darling, Darling Nikki? I've never even heard that one. Bro, oh. we listen to that directly after this, oh, bro. Yeah, Believe that. Nikki is a friend of mine. Just wait. And then we got Lady Cab Driver. We got All the Critics Love You in New York and International Lover. Fire, bro. Fire. Yeah, Prince was Four, bro. And he like girls, though. He like both. He's bisexual, bro. He was out here just doing yeah, what he did. Whenever knew. I read uh, The Heroin Diaries by Nikki Six, man, it talked about he started fucking Prince's Prince? girlfriend. Uh, yeah, like Prince had this bad bitch, like, and Nikki Six, like, Basically stole her from Prince, and she would like go back and forth between Prince and Nikki Six. That's like, crazy. Yeah, bro. shout out to that girl. Whatever your yeah. name was, you were living Whatever right. You doing? You, you doing was fucking right. Prince and Nikki Six. You was doing Damn. something. That's for real, bro. <laughs> That's for real talk. I'm just son. saying, man. That's like, real talk, bro. For real. That's crazy, bro. So if you had to pick, out of you know, because I mean Prince had a million songs that were fire though, but if you had to pick top three. What are you going? Just off the cuff, bro. Like, don't even think about it. Just top three to come to your Windows head. Windows Cry, Kiss, and Darling Nikki. No, I can't believe I've never even heard that You've one. Never heard That's crazy, bro. It, Nikki is a crazy cry. girl. Windows a- Cry, Purple Rain, and Little Red Corvette. Mm. I'll probably say Pussy Control. Um, whew, it's tough, bro. It's tough to break it down. I put uh, I like diamonds and pearls a lot too, bro. That was my joint for real. But that's a very specific song. You know what I mean? Like very specific on what you listen to. But I probably say Pussy Control. 
Mm. Little Red Corvette in 1999, bro, for real. Those are probably my top three straight up. I respect it. I respect Ooh. it. That's all right. So next thing I got for you boys is, uh, well, I got a few things here, but one of the things I'm going to drop on y'all. So who in this motherfucker believes in Bigfoot? <laughs> I seen him one time, man. Uh, out there on the cruise roads. Hey, my brother. Up, Rock, I love you, bro. Bro, my brother. My oh, brother shit. to this day. I love you. Bro, he, look, he, to, the, to the day he died, bro, he saw Bigfoot. He saw Bigfoot, bro. And I believe him. Hey, hey I, I right believe him, bro. Yeah, I real. believe him. I believe him. I swear. There, there's a few of them out there, I feel like, for real. Bro, I believe feel that. like it's a species, man. There's a few of them. I yeah. believe in all that shit. The mermaids, Bigfoot. Mermaids. I mean, the Loch Ness Monster's probably out there somewhere, too. Believe I mean, yeah. You this shit's real. Chupacabra? Yeah, Chupacabra. man. Chupacabra. out there, bro. Somewhere. Chupacabra. Aliens. Yeah, all that shit. Yeah. I'm with you. Yeah, real shit. Most definitely. And the thing is, too, is like, um, you know, with the supernatural shit in general, like, uh, have you guys ever experienced any, like, ghost encounters or anything like that? Or, like, felt some shit that oh, just felt sure. off? Absolutely. Yes. There's something to live Many in this house. Times. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, There's something to live I felt it here. Real talk. Numerous There's, times, bro. and it's all good vibes. It ain't no. Yeah, it's a it good one. It's, it's a, a good it's, one. It's a good. It's a good spirit. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of them out there, bro. bro. You don't know if it's gonna be good or bad, but I'm telling you right now, bro. Real shit. I've lived here for like five years, bro. And for the first two or three, I thought it was just my mind because I'd be sitting there chilling on the couch watching something, and I would see something out of the side of like corner of my eye, bro. Yeah. <clears throat> and I, I, I was chalk it up to like, oh yeah, it's, it's in my mind. And then, bro, finally. Somebody else started seeing it. Other people started hearing it and feeling it. And I was like, all right, bro, there's something here. It's for real. Accepted it. It's all gravy, baby. Yeah, it's all good, though. Until five years ago, I had never felt any type of supernatural, like, energy like that, bro. You know what I mean? Like, have you guys ever felt anything? Yeah, most definitely, bro. What have you felt? Yeah, drop drop some knowledge. Get up to that mic. (laughs) Drop some knowledge. Put that Uh, mic to you, bro. So, what have you felt? My grandpa was a coffee drinker, and he drank out of a specific coffee cup. It was like... (laughs) Uh, route something, Route 60 or something like that. Some old school. Some old school Some coffee Some old school cup. just yeah, cowboy yeah. So coffee. after he passed, you know after he passed, he, uh, he would throw his coffee cup. Now, there would no, be no one in the kitchen. We'd all be in a separate room. Mm-hmm. Everybody would be in their own rooms doing their own shit. And out yeah. of nowhere, the coffee cup would come flying out the cabinet. Damn, bro. Damn. Never broke. Just that one cup? Just that one cup. No There's been cups. a couple other things like... There would be, be some glasses, you know, like you have your drying rack right there next yeah. to the sink. Shit would fall off that. It was him for sure. It's crazy he said a coffee cup, bro, because I swear there's one down there at work. You at the mill, bro. Cup? And Michael will attest to this, bro. We were on the line. It was just me and her one day. And a coffee cup literally went from the shelf underneath the bar, and it literally just went off the shelf and flew over by the fryers. Like one coffee cup, one coffee cup just went from the shelf to the fryers. It just like, I swear it wasn't. It wasn't just me that saw it. Michael yeah. saw it too. There's a fucking ghost or something down there. Real talk. That's why for the longest I would thought I was just tripping because nobody else was feeling the shit in my own house. So then finally, when somebody else was like, "Yeah, bro, like I heard something too. I felt." Something. I was like, "Look, man, I knew I wasn't tripping this long, bro. <laughs> I know I'm crazy, but I knew." I knew this shit was legit, bro, because I felt it for years, bro. Never told anybody because I didn't want to be like that guy, like, yeah, man, you guys like aliens and ghosts and shit. I don't want to be that weirdo. I'm on that, you bro. feel me? Like, I would, I would try and be that, like, hey, you know, whatever. So I was like, you know, fucking, I'm not gonna tell nobody. I didn't tell nobody because I thought I was tripping. I thought I was going, you know, like schizo or some shit. Come to find out, I was right, bro. There's something no, that's going true, on, bro. which is I've cool as fuck. I'm, yeah, bro, hundred percent. 100%. Because I even asked you, bro, when you first got out and shit, you were staying here all the time. I gave it a couple few weeks. I was like, yo, you hear anything, bro? He was like, yep. He was like, I heard it too, bro. I was like, I told you, bro. I fucking told you. Oh, speaking of this, this kind of goes into like a little bit of what we're talking about with the spirits because this could bring a whole different light into this. But if time travel was available, would you go forward or would you go backward? And before you answer that, hold on. Ghosts and spirits could be time travelers that got locked into the glitch or something, yeah. bro. They could be stuck. I mean, it could be a million different things, but well, that's something, bro. They could be like the time travel shit. I mean, I, I, that, I feel like that's a loaded question. I feel like time travel exists, like, somewhere. Somebody's done it at okay, some point, bro. To, but so, if I go backward... Make sure you talk to the mic. If I go backward... Get as close as you can. If I go backward, go. do I have the same knowledge now? Nah. So, I'm... You going back... 
just to restart your life and get a whole fresh new start. I'd go back. Back? Of course. Yeah, because I don't really, like... I would go back, for sure. Yeah, because I, I feel like it, it might end up the same, but there's a good chance that she could, could go, go different way, and it could way go way different. better. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's real. Like, I, I would definitely go back. Like, because I don't... Because if you go into the future, man, and it's a one-way ticket. That's it. So, but, but what, what if forward, you don't like what you see? But if you, you know forward, what I mean? Like, the, the one thing you got with forward is you have the knowledge you have now. Backwards, right. you don't. Right, but you, you know don't what I mean? know what it's going to be. You don't know what you're walking into, bro. Could, the future is... It could be a dystopia. It, the, the past, you already know what's happened there, bro. You're just going to sure. relive something. Exactly. You're going into the future. You have no knowledge of what you're getting uh, wait, yourself no, into. No, no, no. He said we have no knowledge, so... Only when you go back. But in future, you still have you just go into the future. So you know you're going. Okay, yeah. so we go forward and we know. Back, you don't know. Yeah, I want to go definitely back. Definitely going back. I'm yeah, going back go regardless, guys. For yeah. sure. I swear. Justin, sure. what you got? I'm going back. Yeah. You going back? Yeah, going back. Man. The thing is, I, I would say I want to go back. to do something better? Hell that, yeah. Even, not even uh, necessarily better, which is obviously the biggest thing about it. New experiences, yeah. bro. New That's shit. Saying, bro. Things you've so never done, bro. You different. You whole different level of. Completely different life. Period, bro. And then, like we uh, we've talked about before, with this is like, excuse me, is it the butterfly effect where this one little thing does this and then it trickles into a whole different thing? That's gonna happen yeah. if you go back. It's not gonna be the same life. There's no way no. because even bro, there's a study that was done. If as soon as you're born, the, the minute you're born and you and your mother put on the same watch and it's an unlimited battery, that watch will be a different time when you both die because we all experience time differently. Real shit. That's a fact, bro. Like. This watch thing, bro. That's what blew, blew my mind. I was like, damn. So we're all going to experience. Answer, bro? Back or forward? I'm, I'm going to go back for the new experiences. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go back. Okay. Straight up. Yeah, they think it would turn back. out the same? I don't know. I, I don't think I mean, so. I don't, I don't think know. There would. might be people who would go forward, but I don't see it. Like, I don't know why nah. you would choose that. I'm just... If you could go forward and you knew it was going to be some fucking jets and shit, and you knew it was going to be peaceful, utopia, like... You know, everything's all gravy, but that's yeah, not... Yeah, but the way the world's going right now, saying, bro, right? it might be <laughs> fucked might be up, dystopian. and you don't even want to see that. Yeah, that's what like, I'm saying, bro, for when real. When you go back, you could experience deja vu, and that'll make you make different decisions. Yeah, Glitching a matrix. Yeah, Glitching a matrix, God. bro, yeah, real for real. Shit. No doubt. That's real shit. No yeah. I feel deja vu sometimes. I'm like, I don't oh. know how this ends. I'm going to, going in a different way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's real shit, for yeah. real. Damn. <laughs> That's for yeah. real, and, and, and that, that's what the Matrix says, the deja vu. When you feel it, that's a glitch in the Matrix. Something's happening. It's like when you see uh, like when you see a black cat and shit like that. Like those superstitions, I mean, it's just the Matrix. But you know. I had deja vu one time right before I was leaving to go out of town. So I stopped at this gas station and chilled for a minute. Had to change up the vibe. Huh? Had to change up the vibe. Because soon as it was I getting left, weird. As soon as I left, there was a five-car collision. That's Dang. what I'm saying, bro. Shit like that. You never really know, man. That It's like... One thing that everybody who, t like, uh, all the people I know that went and did time and shit, they say that that's one of the biggest things that'll tear you up is what you could have done, what you could have little moved this way, could have went and did this, and it'll just keep you Swear, up for bro. hours, bro. Swear, bro. That's what motherfuckers told me, man, you know, like. Just it, going back and thinking about all the choices that you could have made different, man. That's what, like, I swear to God, bro, so many sleepless nights. Sleepless Thinking nice, about bro. what could have been, man. One little yeah, move you could have made that could have done this, That's and then right. this wouldn't have happened, or yeah. this would have happened, or yeah. I would have got the bitch, Just or you know, I would have done this over. this way. Yeah, straight I up. I swear, bro, I replayed the last fifteen years of my life. I believe that. So many times, bro. Guaranteed. Every I swear to God, Guaranteed, bro, it's bro. crazy, man. It's crazy. It's fucking Real crazy, shit. Bro. So now let me lay this down for you here. This is gonna go into uh, a little get into our nerd shit, right? If you could pick any matchup of any superhero or anime or manga or comic book, any type of motherfucker who's a fictional character, if you want to see two of them go at it, what two are you going to pick? Y'all go ahead. Let's hear some. What y'all got? Uh, you, one of y'all I already All right, I, Yeah, I'll say, yeah. We, uh, well, we didn't do, we didn't do it on, on camera, though. Oh. We didn't do it on camera. We did. Nah, we didn't. All right, well, I know I want to see Doctor Strange. Strange. He did. You're right. Yeah, You're right. We already did do it. Doctor yeah. Strange and who? I want to see Doctor Strange and. Uh, yeah. yeah, get up to the mic. I want to see Doctor Strange and. Um, shit. It who? can go DC. You can go anime, bro. Whatever you want. Doctor literally. Strange versus a woman. I'm what? Like, Wanda. <laughs> Wanda. Wanda. You already saw that in the movie, bro. Not you really, though. I mean, kind of, but. Type but shit, really, yeah. like. To the death? Actually to, the, to the death? To the death? Doctor Strange would win. Yeah. 
Doctor you don't Strange think? Is dope, bro. Yeah, Doctor Strange is fine. Bro, Doctor Strange is probably my favorite standalone movie out of the MCU. Straight up. The Doctor second Strange. one wasn't great. It was I. Right, but the first one was good, bro. He's dope. Yeah. First one yeah. was real good. When bro. they yeah, introducing Stephen Strange, like Straight up. that was dope, man. Fire, bro. And then the way they kept tying him in with Spider Man. Yeah. And he was in Thor. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like I, I like I like Doctor Strange in the yeah. MCU a lot. Absolutely, bro. Yeah. For sure. Dustin, what you got? I got Baku and any character from Demon Slayer. Mm. <laughs> That's what's up. You Baku's a bad man. motherfucker. Baku's Baku probably well. Tanjiro might get Baku. Well, I only say that because both animes, the fight scenes in there are phenomenal. They're fucking great. Phenomenal. They shouldn't get up to the mic whenever you talk. Um, but yeah, Baku's fucking dope, and so is Demon Slayer. I'm only on like episode six. My girl probably gonna call me out. She gonna comment on this shit because I'm, I'm a poser right now. I ain't, I ain't caught up on Demon Slayer, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So she probably gonna call me out, but it is what it is. But what I've seen... Is fucking dope, and he is pretty badass, bro. Even though he's like a fucking twelve year old kid, yeah, bro. Still a bad motherfucker, bro. But you gotta think, fucking oh, even. Anime. Yeah, I know you ain't with the anime. anime. I don't give a fuck, man. <laughs> Y'all but, do your anime yeah, thing. but you gotta think. Even when Goku was like eight, bro, he Goku. was like planetary, bro. Goku, you know? Goku, yeah. Dragon Ball Z, yeah. Dragon Ball. I'm talking Dragon Ball when he had a fucking tail. Kamikazes. <laughs> Kamehameha. <laughs> Kamikaze. Not the Kamikaze. No, it's not the Kamikaze. Yeah, but even when, uh, even when uh, you know, when he was in Dragon Ball, he was like eight or ten years old, bro. And this motherfucker was like destroying like mountains and shit. So like the age, the age shit in the Japanese culture and the way they build these people and shit is just so fucking different, man. Like for real, like the way Absolutely. they build these characters and shit. Think about Naruto, man. He was a fucking child, and then as soon as he turns a teenager, he's fucking murdering people, bro. Like yeah, bro, straight he went up. From a crybaby back bitch. Believe to that. Fucking uh, straight Murderer. up killer, bro. Murderer. 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 I don't believe you, murder. Murderer. Alright. So next thing I got, and this is another one that we were talking about before the podcast, and uh, it's, it's actually a real deep ass one. It's, it's kind of hard to pick. So if you can't just pick one, and also people who are listening in right now, drop some of your comments on what y'all think too. But if you had, if you if you gotta have, you gotta make a bucket list, and you gotta do one of those things on that bucket list before you die. Period. What's the biggest one? Or if you can't pick one, you could do three. All right, I'm just gonna do the first one that comes to mind is I just want to see the seven wonders of the world. That's real shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's uh. What are they? Bro, I know uh, a few pyramids, of them. The pyramids of Giza, great, uh, the Great, Wall, the great Wall, China, Wall of China, Taj Mahal, Machu Picchu, yep. um, Chichen Itza, Cristo. Chichen Itza. Um, it's just in Brazil. That, that um, Jesus, the Roman Colosseum. I think yep. that's six. Yep, that's one of so, them. So yeah, the pyramids of Giza, hanging gardens of Babylon. That's the one I didn't think of. What yeah. is Lighthouse that? of Alexandria? No, that's, no, these aren't them. That's not them, bro. What do you mean of the ancient world? No, seven wonders of the world. There's uh, new seven wonders of the world, but there's the right ancient. There. Yeah, there's the, there's the old mm-hmm. ones too. Yeah, the Great Wall of China. Chichen Itza. Yeah, Chichen yeah, he Itza. called that one. Chichen Itza. Yeah, he knew that one. I that one. one. Yeah, yeah, that's Jordan. that's some okay. that's some real like ancient shit. Machu, Machu Picchu. Picchu, yeah, yeah, Christ Christo, the Re- yeah, the Christo statue, Brazil. Christ the Redeemer in Brazil, Coliseum, Rome, yeah, Roman Coliseum, Taj Mahal. Which Taj Mahal. one would you rather go to, if you had to pick one? <sighs> uh, uh, it's tough. Probably Machu Picchu for me. Uh, or uh, e- either the Roman Colosseum or I would have to pick the Great Wall of China. I would have to pick the Colosseum. That'd be the first two, like I, Pyramids I'd have of to, Giza. I mean, I feel. I like mean, I'd they're all. Fire. That's what I'm saying, bro. It's the seven wonders of the world. Like, yeah, it's real shit. Uh, I mean, one of mine was gonna be a, not like in that type of level, but like one I have to do before I die. Period. I gotta skydive, bro. Yeah, yeah. That, are you it's scared of heights? No, heights don't really fuck with me. See, skydiving Heights don't cool. really fuck with me. Uh, the thing is, the skydiving, bro, I was about to go a couple years ago. Like, real shit. Like, one of my good homies, I'm sure he's tuned in. Shout out Shane Mays. That's my dog. Yeah, we were Shane about to go Mays. do it, bro, for real. <laughs> he switched up his job and shit, and then he had to work, like, a ton. So, like, we couldn't plan it out and stuff. So, like, it, it didn't work out. But, like, bro, I was going to go. He's already jumped, man. Like, he's jumped, like, he's yeah, got, like, four or five cool. jumps, bro. Uh, and he was, uh, did you take my water, bro? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, where's my yeah. shit go, man? You got me sick shit. already, so Yeah, fuck bro, it. we out here. We yeah. fucking yeah. dying yeah. out here. You got me sick. But now nah, he's done like four or five jumps, bro. And uh, that's what I really try. I'm trying to do that like as soon as possible. It's only like four or five hundred bucks, bro. 
Yeah. Really not that bad. For real. Yeah. Like, four yeah. or five hundred bucks. That's don't do it. Fucking fire, bro. For real. What's your on your bucket what about list, bro? What's on my bucket list? It had to do with heights, too. What? Something like that. Like bungee jumping? Like bungee jumping or. Bungee jumping or, is sketchy, I feel like. Bungee jumping or. Way sketchy. Skydiving or. Huh? Skydiving would be dope. I mean, base you talking jumping? about like parachute Base like, jumping like, would be fire. With spot. somebody or like. Yeah, I'm scared of heights. Your first, like, three jumps, you got to go with somebody. Yeah. And then you get to do it by yourself on the fourth or it's the third. But your first one, two, or three. Uh, you gotta go with somebody. So you strap somebody. And what's, then, what's Dustin going to do? Yeah, what you got? What's on your bucket list, bro? Got, what, what you gotta do before things. you die? <laughs> uh, one is definitely like instead of skydiving, it's wingsuit gliding. Yeah, yeah that would be that dope. would be like yeah. that'd be like some Spider Man. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. real? Bro. Yeah, that would be dope. But the other one is I want to get like maybe when I'm like maybe 85 or 90, <laughs> so some old shit. But I want to get into a like a high speed pursuit. <laughs> like, I, Hey, that's I'm dope, not bro. Even kidding. I that's love fire. it. I love it, man. Before you die, you <laughs> want to get in a high speed chase. <laughs> I'm with you, know, I'm like with you. Not anytime adrenaline. soon. Not yeah. anytime soon. But not anytime you know, soon. One day 85. we'll do it. Really yeah, sure. I'll wait till I like at least ninety. <laughs> <laughs> That's you shouldn't even be driving at that age. Yeah. <laughs> that's the whole point. Bro, that's another thing I got to bring up too. Is like one thing I've always thought about is I feel like. After a certain age, you should have to. You should be required to take your license again. I've been saying that. Period, bro. bro. I've been saying that. Yep. Fifty. Let's get another one. Yeah. Sixty. And every every yeah, 10, ten years. Yeah. Every ten, maybe five. And then once you get to seventy, let's go every five. Yeah. You know, like you need to retake that shit. Once you get so old, you got things. Motherfuckers who were born, uh, who are seventy years, seventy years old right now, well, not seventy. I said eighty, bro. They remember the first fucking car, bro. You feel me? Ninety years old. 80, 90 years old. That's the first car that was ever made, bro. This shit is different now. Life yeah. is different. People are different. Yes. We're a completely different species than we were 50 years ago. Yeah. We're not even the on the way, same consciousness. The way the roads are set up, man. You yeah. got all the states and all the, the way you got to like merge into traffic. All these old people, they don't really need to be doing that if they're not in good condition. You don't need <laughs> Sorry. Like, you know, my, my granddad don't need to be driving. He, you know, he's got bad eyes, but he thinks he can still drive. Oh, you feel me? Man, he's 89 years old. You don't need to be driving yeah. a car. I'm sorry. I love you, but please don't be driving. Like, Drive him his days. Take an Uber or something. Yeah, man. Hit the I mean, lift. We got an Uber, Uber and he's somewhere to be. Shit. That, bro. I swear to God. Shit, I'm so let me let me drop this on you boys right now. What is the best? We can do top three on this one too, because it's hard to pick one. Top three favorite comedies the first time you see them. You laughed harder than you've ever fucking laughed in the in, in, in your existence, bro. Period. Damn, bro, that's hard. Hard. Top three. Three, top three. Five. Ten, bro. Whatever that you think of, I'm telling you, the first one to come to mind for me, super bad, bro. Super bad. Super bad was funny. The Hangover. The yeah. first time you see these joints, um, Jan Silent Bob Strike Back. I th I immediately think of Adam Sandler. That's where I go to, bro. Straight I swear up. to God, I was Straight going up. through Adam Sandler. Know. Adam Sandler and, is and, calm. Uh, anything Judd Apatow. Yeah. For real, man. I was thinking Judd Apatow films and uh, Adam Sandler. Yeah. Like that's where I go to. Happy you know? Gilmore. Yeah. Big Happy, Daddy. Um, Happy Gilmore. The first time you see that joint is crucial, yeah. bro. Happy Gilmore's up there. Crucial. Little Nicky too, though. Little Nicky. What's the one? Um, what's the one? What's that one? Where he? Uh, Waterboy. Billy no, Madison. He, Billy Madison. That's it. That's Billy it. Billy Madison. Yeah. Go, bro. With the pink when it's shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's too damn hot for a pink when it's be out here running around. <laughs> no yelling on the bus. Yeah, he, he said, "Is that his dad? Did the penguin make you do it?" <laughs> Yeah, Adam Sandler is the GOAT, man. If there's one person that I can meet and sit down with and just chill and talk to for a couple hours, yeah, that's who I'd pick, man. Uh, bro, but I don't know, man. Honestly, uh, yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd go to Adam Sandler, bro. If I, that's hard to pick a top three, man. We got like, the top three. Top three. Uh, okay, yeah, I want to pick. Uh, uh, the funniest, the first time you see that motherfucker, it's the funniest shit you ever heard. Talladega Nights. Oh, that's a hitter, bro. Talladega Nights. That's, that's a hitter, bro. Funny. Yeah, that's Joe Dapato. So good. Yeah. Step Brothers. I was thinking, yeah. yes, man. You go Will Ferrell, too, bro. Too. Will, Will Ferrell's the shit, bro. I love Will Ferrell. And John C. Riley. Oh, the brothers in law. Yeah, that one was all right. The what? Brothers in law with Kevin Hart. Mm, I think it's Kevin Hart and Ice Cube. Uh, that was no, Get that Hart. was Get Hart. Yeah, Get Hart. No, Get no, Hart. The brothers in law. Yeah, but that wasn't Kevin Hart. Is it Ice Get Hart? Yeah, no, the Get one Hard I'm talking was, about is Kevin Hart and Ice Cube. Get Hard was Will Ferrell and uh, Kevin Jump Hart. Street, You're thinking of Get that's Hard. That's Get Hart. No, yeah. that's where he's about to go to jail and shit. Yeah, that was No, Get no, Hart. he's a cop. 21 Jump Street. 
No, 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 no. Uh, Kevin Hart is a cop. And he's trying to be a detective. That's what and Ice his Cube. brother in law. Yeah, that's Ice Cube. it. That's yeah, it. That, that's, that's called. Uh, that's called. Uh, fuck, what one is that? It's not oh, brothers shit. in law. It's. Um, wow, I'm drawing a blank. Fuck, hold on. Ride along. Yeah, ride, 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 ride along. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's that's it. it. Yeah, that shit was funny as that's fuck. That's probably the, the line that Kevin got Hart. me because he was like, "We're the brothers in law." He was like, "Just stop." I won't <laughs> know, bro. But then me personally, car. then I also go back to the stoner movies, man. Half baked and how Half high? Days to get And Pineapple Express. Friday. <laughs> like, I don't know, man. Friday. Yeah. yeah Friday. Friday. Like. That's hard, bro. A lot of the dice, man. Yeah, man. What bike? What bike? And that's 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 what's funny too, man. Is because like with the Fridays, bro, like they're all three great. Like they were just all hitters, all hitters. bro, for real. Which y'all, which y'all's favorite? The first one. Got to be the first one. Got to be. Got to be the first one. One, two, three, in that order, bro. Straight up. Next Easy. Friday was fire. They didn't get no better. Nah. You know what I'm saying? They they were good. They were all good. of them. But you didn't why y'all do that with a fat bitch jumping on me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which one is this? You just got knocked up. That's, that's the first, first, that's the first one, one. And the yeah. second one. Yeah, yeah. He, I think he said the yeah. third one too. Uh, his dad did it in the second one. Yeah, yeah. and then somebody somebody else said it in the third one. I feel like. Yeah, R.I.P. John Witherspoon. God damn it. For real, man. Granddad from the Boondocks, bro. Swear, He's bro, fucking that, granddad. That fucked everything up because they were supposed to do that movie last Friday. Yeah. And then he died. They had already. I'm. I'm. What I heard was they'd already started filming it, and then. He died, so they're having to redo everything without him being in it, mm -hmm. type shit. Like, when did that happen? Something. I don't know that. Last I've, Friday, bro. I heard about them making it like years ago, bro. Like it's been talked about for a while, and I, I don't know whatever happened to it. I don't know if it got scrapped, if they're still working on it or what. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh man. Mm -hmm. But nah, Granddad. Whenever uh, Huey's like, he's like, yeah, your new name is Damn. bitches. He's like, what? What'd you call me, boy? He's like. <laughs> He's like, no, nah, dad. And he's like, no, nah, granddad, because you get all the bitches. You're going to be granddad bitches out here. Yeah. Robert Bitches Freeman. That's your <laughs> new name. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Uncle Ruckus, bro. He was Uncle fucking Ruckus. hilarious, dude. Yes. And then fucking Charlie Murphy was, um, Yo. he was, uh, he was with the white dude. They hung out with fucking uh, Samuel L. Jackson. They were like the white dudes that were like, get, like gangsters and shit. Fucking Robin. He was like, uh, he was the. He's one dude's son or some shit, like one of the rich dude's son. And then you had uh, fucking uh, Cat Williams, a pimp named Slickback. That was probably that was the funniest fire, episode right there. Bro. Pimp granddad, she a hoe. <laughs> Boy, you thought you ever disrespect me in my house like this again? <laughs> I swear. I dude, get one happiness. The, the fucking the Boondocks was so ahead of its time, bro. Like that shit was legit, way ahead of its fucking time. And truly, one of the funniest cartoons of adult humor that ever came out, and was like super woke and shit, and like talked about like things that nobody. It was just real woke, man, and not in like the stupid way that it is now, like the political correctness, not like that type of wave, but like things that were actually happening. He was like, "Yeah, Ronald Reagan is the devil. He invented crack cocaine in urban communities <laughs> and shit." It's like, "Holy shit, dude, he's right. Like yeah. Ronald Reagan really did this stuff. Like, you yeah. know, things like that. You know, I feel like that was fucking awesome for real." All right, boys. I got another thing for y'all. So, who we got in the Super Bowl this year? Bills. The Bills. Bills, Bills are tough, bro. I'm not gonna lie. The it's, Eagles, it's maybe. Weird. They, the Eagles are looking hey, tough. Philadelphia, for real, for real. The Bills are really good. The though. Bills. I'm not gonna lie. This season's been weird, man. You got the Jets and the Giants doing good, and what were they doing last year? They weren't doing shit in the beginning. I mean? yeah, and then you got like... Tom Brady. Like, what's he doing? Like, that's what he's doing. I mean, yeah, he's he doo doo in the bed. He can get the, him out the, of there. the Vikings are killing it. Like, it's so weird, bro. All the teams that you wouldn't expect to be doing so well so are. So, who do you uh, think it is then? I mean, I, it's tough. It's Two really teams. Hard, bro. I'd probably say. I don't know, bro. Let me see. Man, I'm not See, I, Don't I, sleep on Baltimore, bro. Baltimore's fucking killing it right the now. The Ravens, Lamar Jackson. These are tough, don't, bro. Don't sleep on him. They're fucking tough, for real, bro. See, I mean, okay, so. The Bills, what division are they in? Uh, AFC, oh, North. AFC North. So does that mean? I think. No, AFC East. My bad. Okay. And that's got they got they got nobody in there. Well, I mean the Jets, they're six and three. No. My damn Miami's six and three. That's what I'm saying. What? Bro. The the Miami's tough. tough. New England's five and four. Yeah. Bills are six and two. It's uh. Serious, uh, we can't bro. we can't sleep on Kansas City either, boys. They, that's, ah, they got, they got a good City, chance, bro. They're always doing. They back. Always. They got. They got whooped by the huh? Raiders almost. Yeah. Oh yeah. They did. Let's see here. 
Like I said, I gotta throw Baltimore out there. Yeah. AFC South is garbage. Let's see. Philadelphia, they're eight and zero, bro. They're the only people. They're the only team undefeated right now. That's Dude, the Vikings are tough too. <coughs> I mean, it's weird, but seven and one. Yeah. Minnesota ain't been good since fucking Adrian Peterson. No. You know what I mean? Honestly, the dude, dude, but the thing is, like, you can never count out Tom Brady, man. Never. It, it's crazy. Like, he ain't done shit, but maybe now that he got his divorce settled and he'll get his head straight they're or still, something. They're still number one in their division, too. Yeah, but that, that's not saying much, bro. Nah, that division right. is weak as hell. You're right. I don't even you're absolutely right. right. Atlanta's all right. No. no. You know, Falcons? Yeah, they were all right. What about the Bengals, no, though? Going. Joe Burrow. I mean, they're, they got a possibility, bro. Burr! But uh, I don't know. Gucci. Bro. Yeah, Bengals. It's uh, Ravens and Cincinnati, then Cleveland, then Pittsburgh, and the AFC North. Yeah. Yeah. Bros. Looking pretty fucking, you know. I mean, I don't know, bro. Fuck I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say Bucks Bills. <laughs> See, I don't. You can't count out Tom Brady, bro. Nah, uh, I, if I just had to throw it out there, I'd say Bucks Bills. I'm gonna say. Or, or, uh, I'm gonna say Philadelphia. Yeah. Or, Bills. or or Bills Eagles that that'd yep. be another you know that's what I'm saying for sure at, at this point in the season looking at what everybody's been doing that wouldn't be crazy that'd make perfect sense Philly's been doing good man they gotta lose eventually though they just lost in the World Series they gotta lose yeah the Phillies just lost in the World Series but uh Houston yeah yeah but the Eagles are still killing it oh yeah bro eight no Eagles yeah no bro undefeated yeah and and their schedule bro it's looking like they're gonna have the easy way out of it yeah. Like really? they're, they're basically locked into the playoffs already. Mm-hmm. As long as they don't yeah. just blow it. It's fucking crazy, bro. <coughs> I don't know, though. We'll see. We'll see how it <coughs> plays out. I mean, who, I mean, I know your team, Cincinnati. Who are you? Yeah. The Bills. Yo, are you the Bills? Your shit? I, I'm not a Bills That's fan. That's not fuck with NFL, do you? I don't, don't be asking me about sports. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm a Cleveland fan. I've been a loser my whole life. The Browns. I mean, you know, I'd be taking the Browns every other day. You know how I do, bro. You already know. Hey, if y'all... um. Have y'all watched Cobra Kai? Yeah. Maybe. Not have you all Not the se- like you're talking about the series. The right? series, yeah, yeah like yeah. like the Karate I've seen Kid shit. maybe one season of it. Bro, bro, are you watch Cobra Kai? No, it's about uh yeah, I mean, it's Karate it Kid, it's like the yeah, uh, like you know, like when they're all like when uh Johnny Lawrence and uh It's the first Karate Daniel Kid. Kid. Ralph it's the dude, uh, Ralph Macchio and uh, what's his kid? name? I've seen what? Karate Kid. Yeah, no, he ain't watched Cobra Kai. You motherfuckers, hey, anybody who's tuned in still, straight up, y'all need to watch Cobra Kai, bro. This is one of my favorite new joints, for real. It originally came out on YouTube, and, like, I was like, man, it's gonna be mad corny. I was like, it's gonna be fucking whack. First fucking episode, fire, bro. Like, and all first season, great. And then it was so good. It's Excuse Danny me. and his uh, rival, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Daniel Sun and fucking Johnny Lawrence, bro. Yeah, yeah. And they, you know, they end up becoming, like, homies a little bit, and then they're not homies, and then they fight, and then they, they you know, they go back and forth and shit. But they all, like, both of them make their own dojos. So they're the senseis of, they're the master senseis of the dojos, man. They train their kids. Like, they have their own kids that become, like, Them. fucking, you know what I mean? Like, ninjas and shit, bro. It's fucking fire for real, man. I'm telling you. That shit is nice, bro. I'm really not gonna lie. Anybody tuned in still, definitely check that shit out. Hit him with the wax on, wax off. Straight up, son. You already fucking know. Daniel son. Daniel son. <laughs> wax on. <laughs> Wax off. R.I.P. Mr. Miyagi. Yeah, straight up, bro. Straight Jack up. It <laughs> Jack also, it off. Yeah, also, I just want to take a second. Thank everybody for tuning in, man. Make sure that you all are sharing this, subscribing on YouTube, hitting the bell. We got plenty of new episodes coming. Got plenty of new guests coming through. Uh, more music going to be dropping soon. I'm going to get these fools on some tracks, too. You already know. We about to get a new mixtape going. We're going to do some singles. We out here, motherfuckers. So, look. Y'all been sleeping, it's time to wake up. You feel me? So the next thing I got for you boys is, uh, I, I, let me ask you this. Are you a reader? Do you like to read? I like to read books. Okay, all right. Dustin, you read? You, you like to read? Audio books. Okay, like hey, look, fair enough. Old, fair enough, baby, fair enough. <laughs> so, so straight up, what is a book or books that have influenced you the most, period? Behold, Take that. Behold a pale horse. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna um, say 48 Laws of Power since you're saying that one. Yeah, I mean that's that's the one, bro. That made me believe in aliens, real talk. 48 Laws of yeah. Power and the Four Agreements. Yeah, Richard I mean Green. Ro- Robert Green. Yeah, Ro- Robert, Robert Green's dope. Robert Richard. It's Robert. Yeah, Robert, Robert Green. 48 Robert Laws Robert of Green. Power. Uh, Which was taken a lot the from the art of seduction, war. You know uh, I mean? The laws of human nature. You know. Yeah. Robert Green's dope, but uh, 
Yeah, behold a pale horse, man. It, it digs some of it's kind of into, some of it's kind of reaching, it, but it's some of it's, it's on deep point. though, bro. There's a lot of shit to it, man, and yeah. it really made it, it opened my mind up a lot. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. The seer for me. The seer. The seer. The seer. That's what's up. Yeah. I watched the movie. I never read the book. Though. Uh, I, I read the book. My book. It's yeah, I watched. I read the whole series. It's kind of a true story type what? book. It's a narrative. Unbroken. Unbroken. I never. Unbroken. Heard of That's it. the one they based the movie. Uh, there was a movie off of. There was a 2014 yeah. film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real last guy. Yeah. Real uh, last guy. Yeah, he was a runner he was or whatever. Olympic sprinter. Yeah, 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 That's yeah, what he I, did. Okay. I watched that movie. Well, there's I've also uh, the there's a, there's there's a couple that's <coughs> broken. There's a World War II story of survival. Yeah, it. It's by that's it's it. by a woman. Okay. What? This yeah. one is um, an Lord, Olympian's yeah. journey from airman to castaway yeah, to it's, captive. It's, yep. It's Damn, bro, I'm gonna have to read that for real. Yeah, yeah. Laura Hillenbrand. No, I've never seen the movie. That's her name. Yeah. Yeah, Laura Hillenbrand. This yeah. man survived a whole lot of shit. Eight dollars on Amazon. I'm scooping yeah, it, baby. He, he, he went scooping. through some shit, man. I watched that movie. It was uh, I can imagine. Bro, there was more to it. Maybe I did see the movie. Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, he was on that raft. You should read the book. Like read the book, the no, read the book before shoes. you watch the movie. Yeah, the, I mean the book's usually always 46 better. Forty six days. Yeah. On yeah. sea. Yeah. That's real shit. On a raft. Another one that really influenced me, bro. Um. The four agreements, like I said, those like uh, even the characteristics, uh, the characteristics. I'll read those off, bro, because it's like, obviously, it's paraphrasing what the book is about. But I mean, dude, this guy, what's his name? Uh, Luis Ramirez, Don Miguel Ru- Ruiz. <coughs> so the four agreements are be impeccable with your word, which I try as hard as I fucking can, bro. Mean what you say, say what you mean. Word is bond. Yes, sir. You feel me? Like period. Right. Don't take anything personally. That's one of the hardest things as a man with an ego and pride, bro, to not take shit personally. You feel like motherfuckers are getting at you all the time, because in real life, you be hurt. You will be hurt more by your imagination than what's actually happened in reality. Yeah. You are, like I'm in my head, and I, I, I think everybody hates me. Yeah. scenarios that never, you, even that happened. That never even happened. And another thing, uh, another great. I was uh, listening to uh, the art of flow. And one thing he said in this, this is like some ancient shit, bro. He said, never worry because then you're just hurting yourself twice. Why would you want to be hurt twice? Because when you worry about something, even if you're going to get hurt, now you hurt twice. You just fucked up your mental. You fucked up your chakras. You, you're not focused. You're stressed. You're fucked up. Never worry about anything, man, because it will always hurt you twice. Damn. And it blew my mind. I was like, damn, damn bro. bro. That's, that's right. real shit. Like, yeah, I, yeah. I ain't worried about nothing no more, bro. Like. Fuck all that. And it goes into the the other one that he was talking about. Well, they took like, you know, it, it's things that were written down like in like fucking five, like the year 500 or some shit, bro. Like long, long time ago. And it said like it compared life to a river. And what it meant by that is if you get trapped in a river, there's going to be things you can do that will hinder you or that will grow you in the sense that in a river, you can try to swim to the bank. You can try to grab onto branches. You can try to do all this shit. Or you can swim against the current. You can go that way. Or you can flow with the, flow. With the river and with just the meet the obstacles as they come so forth with your life. You know what I'm saying? With your life, you can't predict what the fuck's going to happen tomorrow. You might be dead by tomorrow. So why are you going to sit here and try to swim up against the current? Why are you going to try to get to the bank to save yourself when there ain't no stopping? You're going to die. So let that river flow, baby. Just let, you, let it do what it does. And then you roll with the punches as they come. You yeah. see a rock coming up? All right, we're going to move to the right. You just let go and let God. Let go. Shit, you Period, know? bro. Tell, you me know? why, tell me why when you told me that, I, just, <coughs> I pictured myself <coughs> flowing up. I was swimming upstream. Exactly. Yeah. That's the thing. As soon as you think of a river, you're like, damn, I got to get out of here. Yeah. I'm going the other way. Or I'm going to go to the bank. Or I'm going to try to do something and grab onto something. So I, I, But you just keep going. Fuck it. Just keep going, Don't bro. Fight. Yeah, yeah. This shit's it. The third one, which this is another tough one of the four agreements, don't make assumptions, which goes into the personal shit. You know what assuming does? It makes an ass out of you. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it does. That's, it. that's what happens when you assume, man. <clears throat> and that's real shit because think about how many times you've been in a scenario, like, for example, at work or something. You over here, and then you walk <laughs> up, and everybody's talking, and everybody get quiet. Yeah. Could have just been nothing. Yeah. Could have been nothing. Could have been talking shit about you. But if you don't assume, 
it won't bother you. You flowing, baby. You flowing. You I mean, ain't worried about in, nothing. In a sense, is don't make assumptions. Just stay out of your head. Stay out of your shit. head. You know bro. what I mean? Like I, I'm bad about it, bro. I'm I get in my head. All four of us in this room you are fucking I mean? like, bad about it. Your bro. head. That's not a good place to be. You get stuck up there. That's not a good but place maybe to they be. They wouldn't man. even talk about us. Exactly. Bro, yeah, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't always about, about us. <laughs> you gotta stay out of your head, man. And then this one, man. To be. It's another one that I really, uh, really resonated with me whenever I uh, read the book and shit. Is uh, always do your best. Like put your best foot forward. I feel like that's so such a simplistic thing, and it's so easy, but yet at the same time, it's not because everybody becomes complacent. Just like the Jedi Council. That's why Anakin didn't trust them because they became complacent. They got too comfortable, and then that's when the Republic came in and started fucking shit up. So what I mean by that is you could do a job every single day of your life and you could be the best. On that seventh day, you don't even give a fuck, man. You had a bad day. You don't give a damn. And you ain't doing your best that day. That's why it's so hard to keep that up. When you meet people, you, you think first impressions are everything. But sometimes I don't give a fuck what somebody thinks about me. I'm not trying to impress nobody out here. I'm just trying to do me. And that's what's hard about it, bro, because doing your best is fucking tough. Especially when you a real one, because it's ten times harder for a real one out here, bro. When you really got to go through shit, go through the fire, go through the flames, <clears throat> it's hard to do your best at everything you encounter. People always, you know, they take it like, I'm always the best at my job. I take pride in my work. Yeah, but on the 20th day of you doing that shit every day, you ain't going to be on your best. You're going to be chilling. You're going to be fucking shit up. We all human. And I truly feel like doing your best is probably the second most important out of the four agreements, in my opinion, bro. You know what I mean? Because I think the first one is don't take anything personally because it's, through my experience, that's the hardest one. I take shit personal. I I don't perceive that I do. I don't let people know I took it personal. But I'm, I'm like, damn, all right, brother. What's up? You know what I'm saying? All right, cool. What's good? Like, all right, I see you out here. We good? You know, I'm going to see you. You know, whatever. But that's the thing. It's like that personal, man, that's fucking hard because – Especially when you're a type of dude that had to live in like a survival type state all the time when you're trying to, you can't really be comfortable in your life, man. You over here trying to not fucking get in your head and all this shit, but like at the same time, you gotta be in your head with certain situations and all that shit. But the taking shit personal, man, is fucking tough. It really is, man, for real. Most definitely. So, what we got, what you, you said, the Hold a Pale Horse, mm -hmm. 48 Laws of Power, Unbroken, The Seer. What's another badass fucking book, man? Bridge to Terabithia, motherfucker. What's good? The I just saw the movie. And didn't <laughs> know <what it> the, <laughs> the girl died, man. It's fucking sad, bro. That was probably one of the saddest movies I've ever sad, seen. Sad, bro. I remember watching it in school. Like, damn, everybody crying and shit. I gotta get my shit. I'm an OG, man. I gotta get my I, shit together. I, right I gotta right leave now. like 30 minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you another uh, fire ass book that was a dope ass movie is too. The Spider Wick Chronicles, man. That's y'all remember that? Yeah, I've watched that one too. Dude. Even though it's a book too. Arthur Spider Wick, bro. That shit was awesome. The movie was awesome. Awesome too, bro. They had the salt fucking thing around the house and shit, keeping all the goblins out. Man, that shit was awesome for real, bro. Man, this has been beautiful. I love you, What's boys, man. Point? I love My you, God. boys. I love you, boys. With the first four piece in the bag. Yeah. Appreciate everybody tuning in to Together FTR. Like I said, make sure to hit that bell on YouTube. Hit Subscribe. It. Follow on Facebook. Follow. Anybody watching this, make sure to tag all four of us in the post. Here we Keep are. sharing that shit every day. All it's been us. a blessing. I appreciate y'all. We out. Much love. Bye-bye.